हेलो एवरी वन एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सरोवर ज्ञान माई नेम इज डॉक्टर लोकेन्द्र सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कूबर नेटिस दिस इज रियली हॉट टॉपिक एंड एवरी वन इज जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर दैट हाउ टू लर्न इट वॉट इट इज एंड पीपल हैव रियली अ ग्रेट क्यूरियसिटी टू नो अबाउट कूबर नेटिस सो एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ कम्प्लीट सीरीज ऑफ कूबर नेटिस वेर यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम बिगनिंग टू लाइक लाइक एक्सपर्टीज लेवल सो Kubernetes is a particular tool which is used for orchestrating containers. So first of all, like uh, what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a particular container management technology. This has been developed by Google Labs. Now it is open source. You can customize it and you can use for own purpose, right? It can work with cloud, virtual machines, or physical server. so it does not restrict you to any individual platform wherever you want you can install and you can start working with it right then after we talk about it is open source and this helps in managing containers as of today it is really high in demand if you are going to figure out any job in devops maybe cloud admin or any other so definitely they would want you to know at least kubernetes why it is so because it helps you to provide individual environment to every developer For example, if a developer wants to work with any individual platform, maybe Ubuntu eighteen twenty, or maybe with any individual version of Java, Go, or maybe any other programming language, whatever developer wants, so this is really helpful in that helpful in that case. Next is like uh, what is Kubernetes? As we have just discussed that Kubernetes is an orchestration engine. So who can learn this? Obviously, as we have written here, like let's learn now. so we are going to learn it but before learning so what are the prerequisites of it who can learn it who uh, who will be the better person to understand the kubernetes what are the things which you should know in advance so first of all a person who understand that how does docker work like how to install docker what are the components of docker what is docker swarm what is docker volume what is docker network what is docker image then after if we talk about like basic networking and the particular concept of network like what is subnetting what is ip address what are the type of ip address what is public what is private ip address what is ingress gateway what is egress gateway these sort of thing if a, if a person knows then a person is really good to go with kubernetes now a person should also know like how does protocol communication work like what is tcp what is udp let us say if we talk about dns so it works with D, with udp or with tcp ssh so whether it works with tcp or udp or like uh, what are the particular protocol suit a person should have knowledge about osi and tcp ip model right then after we talk about like overview of k8s so what are the things what are the things we should uh, we should know about like kubernetes first of all so this is hosted by cloud native computing five foundation which is known as cncf cloud native computing foundation then after it is used for containerized containerized infrastructure whenever you want to have containerized infrastructure you can use it apart from that like application centric management containers for example you are using multiple components like front end back end middle layer or maybe in memory databases so whatever you have so you so you can use this sort of contain this sort of application inside containers then after auto scalable infrastructure that can auto scale your infrastructure just like auto scaling does in aws it means if there is high load so containers will be automatically created and if there is no load so it can reduce the number of containers based on the based on the requirement higher density of resources utilization what does it mean let us say we are working with like aws gcp azure on premises physical server virtual machines so whenever we create a machine so we do not have proper idea about that how much resources will be utilized there we create a machine and based on the assumption only we select the number of like cpus like amount of ram disk and other components here right so in case of like kubernetes it is like uh, higher density of resource utilization so it means it will give you proper uh, recommendation it will definitely give you a proper uh, report of the utilization of resources whatever are and uh, whatever are uh, like associated with underlying hardware apart from that like environment consistency ac across deployment testing and production so let us say if you have a single uh, like uh, tag of git repository 
and you need to deploy so obviously same tag will be deployed across the environment so it will ensure to maintain the particular consistency in different environments so this is what kubernetes is apart from that like if we see like what other things are there what other things you can learn if you do not want to go with kubernetes so guys we can go with swarm aws ecs it means elastic container services elastic kubernetes services google kubernetes services and uh, we have here like azure kubernetes services so these are the particular platform which we have as of today so if you want to learn any of so definitely you can so this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time and happy learning if you are new to my channel so please do like share and subscribe with your friends have a good time and happy learning